In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for KOH plus CuNO32. This is potassium hydroxide plus copper 2 nitrate. First thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. So I see I have two nitrates here and one here. I'm going to put a two here, then a two to balance the potassiums, and it looks like everything's balanced. So that's the balanced molecular equation. Now we should write the states for each substance. KOH is a strong base, good one to memorize. That's going to dissociate completely, dissolve in water, and be aqueous. Copper 2 nitrate. Nitrates are almost always soluble. So in this case, we have copper 2 nitrate. That's going to also be aqueous. That'll dissolve in water. It's a strong electrolyte. We have another nitrate here. That's going to be aqueous. And then copper 2 hydroxide. Either you've memorized the solubility rules and you know that this copper 2 hydroxide is insoluble, or you could look it up on a solubility chart. Because it's insoluble, we write an S. That means that it's a solid. So when these two react, we'll get our KNO3, which will be dissolved in the water, but we'll get this precipitate here. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. So these are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. So potassium group one on the periodic table, one plus ionic charge, hydroxide, one minus. So we'll write K plus, and I won't write aqueous after each one. We'll do that at the end. Two means I have two of these potassium ions. Plus, I have the hydroxide ion OH minus, and again, the two applies to everything, so I have two hydroxide ions. This nitrate, nitrates have a one minus ionic charge. Since we have two of them, the copper has to be two plus. That's why we're calling it copper two. So that'll be Cu2 plus, the copper two ion, and then the nitrate, that NO3 minus. And this little subscript here, means we have two of those. So those are the reactants. On the product side, we had the plus and the minus here, 2K plus, plus the two nitrates, NO3 minus. And then this is a solid. And in net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So CuOH2. So this is the total or complete ionic equation for KOH plus CuNO32. Now we can cross out spectator ions. Spectator ions appear on both sides, and in the reactants and then in the products. And since they're the same, we're not interested in them. We can just cross them out. I have 2K plus here in the reactants, 2K plus in the products, cross them out. Here's two nitrates, two nitrates, cross them out. But everything that's left, that's the net ionic equation. So we have these two hydroxide ions, copper two ion, and then we get the copper two hydroxide. Let me clean this up and add the states in, then we'll have the net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus copper two nitrate. And this is the net ionic equation for potassium hydroxide plus copper two nitrate. Notice that we have the same number of each type of atoms on both sides of the equation and that we have it two times the one minus. So we have two minus here, two plus. That gives us a neutral compound with no charge. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.